So let's start with InDesign. We're going to explore the user interface. And as you can see, it's very similar to Photoshop and Illustrator and the majority of the Adobe products. On the left hand side, you will notice that we have our toolbar. Then on the top, we have what's called the control panel. And right above that, we have what's called the application bar. On the right hand side, we have the different palettes that we're going to use. And like Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop, these palettes right here, you will find them inside of Windows. Some of you guys will open InDesign and you will notice that you will be able to see through the program. To fix that, go to Windows. And if you notice, when I deselect application frame, I can see the background. So if I created a new file, we will explore how to create a new file next. And I hit OK. I get this floating window right here. Again, if you want to have this floating window as part of your user interface, go to Window and select Application Frame, and there you have it. Now, the control panel right here may be a little bit daunting at first. However, if you notice, every time I select a different tool in my tool palette, the majority of these icons right here will be in the same place. I've selected the text and notice that has changed quite a lot. That is because InDesign wants you to have the most common options for all these tools right here shared a small icon so you don't have to switch back and forth. So if we were to use something like the move tool and selected one of our objects, we can change thickness, the color of the fill, the rotation, the pivot point for the rotation and on and on and on. Right above that, we have what's called the application bar. The application bar is something that stays there all the time. To the left, we have what's called the zoom level. As you notice, our newly created file is at 62% of its actual size. This will be echoed right here in the zoom level. So if I switch my zoom level, if I go to, for example, 100%, you will notice that we are viewing our new file at 100%. Now, to the right, these three icons, the view options, the screen mode, and the arranged documents have to do with our image right here. So for example, we can hide the ruler, we can hide smart guides, guides, base grids, and the frame edges. Now, these shortcuts right here are all found inside of the view menu. To the right, the screen mode, so we have normal, we have a preview, we have a bleed, which will show us the bleed if we have assigned a bleed, and we will explore what a bleed is later on. And then we have what's called slug. And the very, very bottom is our presentation mode. And presentation mode will make the whole screen black with your image in the middle. And to get out of presentation mode, all you have to do is hit escape. And we can go back to normal. And then to the far right, you have the arranged documents. This works if you have more than one document open. So we will cover new document on the next video. And notice that now we have two documents. Under this shortcut right here, we can arrange those documents, either tile vertically, tile horizontally, to up horizontally, and on and on. This is a good way to preview two pages at the same time. To the right-hand side, we have our workspaces. This is called the workspace switcher right here. Notice that every time I switch a different workspace, my palettes on the right-hand side get switched. If I go to digital publishing, they look different. If I go to essentials, the same thing. The palettes on the right hand side, we can minimize them by dragging on the far left edge until they snap like so into a single set of icons. We can also expand them. And if you want to see what's inside of one of the palettes, all you have to do is click on that palette. You can undock the palettes by dragging the tab. And remember, just because you have three palettes, combined together. The far right icon, those are the options for that specific palette that you have selected. So if I go to pages and I click on that options for that pages palette, notice that it's different than the options for the layers. Again, we can recombine this group by dragging it. We can make it part of another group. We can put it in between the groups and so on. If we want to reset our workspace, we go to our workspace switcher and to the very bottom, we go to reset essentials and there you have it. When you have a palette open like this, notice these two triangles pointing to the right hand side. If you click on those triangles, your palettes will collapse into thumbnails.
And if you create your own workspace and you want to save it, you would go to Windows, Workspace, and you would create a new workspace under your name. I'm going to close these two files right here. And next, we're going to cover how to create a new document.